I made a gorilla tag thing. So I decided to get Unity and I needed to know how to make a game because I had zero experience. So I watched a ton of videos. So the first thing I did was obviously load into Unity. Then I had to set up XR plugin management, which lets the Quest 2, Quest 1, Quest Pro, whatever you're playing on, be able to play your game. So it basically makes it VR compatible. I got, by the ways, I got most of like everything I did in here from a YouTuber called Screen VR. So check out his tutorials if you're trying to make a GTAC fan game because they really help. But yeah, back to the video. I spent more time setting up Photon than I did for probably anything else in this video. And I'll explain why later. But let's get into the PlayFab bit. So PlayFab is basically a tool that lets you ban players all that stuff and I was really struggling with it. The mistake I made was not using any photon manager in my game, which I did fix but it took a while to realize. So once I realized that, it was an easy fix and I was able to get photon working after I did that because PlayFab was glitching photon for some reason. If you're wondering what photon is, it's basically multiplayer for your game. And yeah, it's just, it's just better. So I use Photon. There's also another thing called Normcore, but I'd recommend Photon. It's so much better and so much easier. But after I set up those things, everything just got so much easier. So if you're trying to make a GTAG fan game, set up your Photon, PlayFab, all the Gorilla Rig stuff, set it all up first and then make your map later. But there was going to be a big problem that I was about to face and I didn't even realize it. Until. So, I was finished Photon everything. And the game was looking kind of fire because I just made the map. But, I wanted to add URP. Which is basically post... Post? Post? Pop? Post? Post processing. Finally, oh my god, but it just makes the game look so much better. It adds glow to the text It just makes everything so look so so good So I went to add that in and it destroyed everything Every material went pink and I did not know how to fix it. So Yeah, I restarted Look, let me explain it was glitched. I couldn't fix it. It was like I tried Changing it and stuff. It, it didn't fix so I just restarted and yeah, after I restarted, I had to do the whole photon process, but I did URP first, make the game later so your materials don't bug out. So do that if you're gonna add URP, do not make it early, make it later. And um, before I finish uh, talking and yapping, please watch the full video because it helps me out a ton. Um, you know, like it does. Yeah. Uh huh. Bro, what am I trying to talk? All right. So I set up all that. I set up everything once again. Second try now. And after probably like five hours, I finally did it. It took way too long, but I got it working and I tested the game. Not gonna lie, it was kind of bland because it was, it was just a cube that you were standing on. There was nothing to it. So I had to go make the map. For the map, I watched a ton of tutorials on how to make a map, and I got one idea, which again was from Screen VR. I tried to make like a capuchin style kind of game, and yeah, it went kind of well actually. So we have this map here, and I think it looks really good, but it's just way too bland, so I had to add stuff to it. Yes, I did the computer in Stump. I added a name computer, a computer. I kind of forgot to mention this at the start, I should have, but you should always add the computer before you start doing the map too, because again, it's just, it's just quicker, it's better, it's just faster to do, and you can just move it in the end. So I set up the computer with codes working, and I had it show players in the room, and like players online in general, maybe that will like 100, maybe we can get 100 players online. Once this video comes out and it releases, 
that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, I set up everything for a computer. It looks actually kind of fire. And I made the spawn. The spawn had like a bed in it. It's looking kind of clean. But that's besides the point. The main map is our biggest focus. So I worked my butt off, bro. This main map was looking pretty clean. But again, it was bland. So I had to think of maps. The first map I decided to make was a shop. And obviously, that's just one of the most important things. Like, let's be honest. We need a shop in the GTAG fan game. So I set that whole shop thing up. And I have a ton of cosmetics in there. But I'm not releasing them yet. I have a little barrier that says coming soon. So I can tease everyone. Also, there's a gun, bro. It's so cool. It's a Glock. It's called the the ban Glock, bro. So I can Glock of Justice and ban all the toxic players with my gun. Okay, yeah, that's besides the point. Let's just cut that part out, bro. Alright, next thing I wanted to add was some sort of caves map. Any type of, like, I wanted crystals in the game, and I thought of, like, a pretty cool idea. In the main map, there will be, like, a little, like, crack in the ground. It'll open up, and there'll be, like, boom, crystals. So, I got to work on that. I'll say it took quite a while, because two hours later, we had it done, kind of modeled. I did not texture it yet, because that took a while. But once it was done textured and everything, it looked kind of clean, and I was really happy with the result. So, now let's recap. We have all the player stuff done, Gorilla Rig, all that stuff. What do I need? A player model. And yes, I already had one made, because one of my friends are helping me with this game. So, that's pretty cool. So, we got the player model done, and oh my god. It took so long to rig the player model up. Basically, rigging the player model up is basically just setting up the player model to the player. So, I now have a monkey as the player and not a random circle. But yeah, we set up that and it took a long time, dude. I was basically dying trying to do this because I kept on messing up. And it was probably one of the hardest parts of doing this entire project. But we got it working and I was really liking the game. I already tested it like three times and it was looking really cool. So I made a Discord server for it and we have over 350 members already, which is insane. So check out the Discord if you want. Link will be in the description. So go join the Discord server so we can hit 500 members. Anyways, apart from that, we got everything set up. I played it a few times and it was fire. So I asked my community for maps, and I got to work, bro. I'm cooking. So now, that leads us to right now. I'm currently working on a horror mode, a winter wonderland map, maybe a swimming pool, and it's up to you guys what I should add to my Gorilla Tag fan game. And if you want to know, the name is called Meat, and it will come out soon. So stay tuned, stay hyped, save this video, share it to your friends, and let's blow up this game, because that would be insane. But yeah, I worked so hard on this video and this game, and it's turning out really cool. And we have such an amazing community, so thank you guys so, so much, bro. And I just want every single one of you guys to have a great day. Again, join the Discord server if you can. It's a great community. We have, like, so much in there. Sneak peeks, leaks. The game, when it comes out, will be released in there first. And, yeah, just thank you. But, I want you guys to tell me what I should add to my game. Cosmetics, maps, anything. Leave it in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video.